time over here at the Renegade Racing Channel. Today we're going to teach you how to pack some shit. No, but seriously, we're going to teach you how to pack a parachute. So a lot of people have asked me questions on how to pack these things. In the past, I've had questions on how to pack these things. Jonathan Atkins, actually the owner of Tick Performance, taught me how to pack a parachute. So I'm going to teach you guys. First thing you need to do is go ahead and release your bar back. All right, so we got that in. Make sure you have the shoestring handy. Now we're going to lay the shoot out. All right, the first thing we want to do, especially once you throw the chute, is you don't want to really tangle this thing up because it just makes it a pain in the ass to try and get it back together. So I kind of just lay mine on top of each other one at a time, and I set it on top of the car. So we're going to start with the front. We're going to work our way back. All right, we got this thing untangled. Now what we did was we just kept spinning the chute until it straightened all our draw lines out. So we're going to keep going with these make sure they're on top of each other and they're straight with the actual rope. Now that we've made that happen, we're going to take our top two, we're going to drop our bottom two and pull out just like so. Now I like to grab right here in the middle. All right. And we're going to take that piece right there and we're going to fold it. All right. See how we got that? Now look, if you look at the actual chute, look at the chute down at the bottom side, you see how it comes straight out and all four pieces are linked just like that, all right? Now that we have it like that, everything's untangled, we're gonna make a fold right here, all right? And then kind of shake it a little bit, make sure everything's good. Now you're gonna find your other piece and we're making a piece of pie right now, all right? And then we're gonna fold that. So now you should have three folds right here. And you want to make sure it's even on all sides and even in the front. Once you got that done, we're going to lay it on the ground. And we got our piece of pie. Now you kind of want to dress it up just a little bit. Make sure everything looks good on it, on your piece of pie. So once we got that done, we're going to go ahead and make our initial fold. All right, into one big sliver. And then we're going to fold it again. All right. So that part's done. Now you want to zigzag as you go back in with it. So pay attention to this part of it. But that way when the parachute throws out, it all comes out in one piece. It doesn't get tangled up. So what I like to do is I grab it right here, put my hand right here, and I fold over just like that. All right, then you're gonna do that again. All right, and then one more time. All right, now that we got that done, I like to put my knee right here, and I go ahead and sack this part up first before we do the rest of the draw straight. Put your chute, because they usually fly inside out. So you gotta turn your bag the right side, pull your string through, and now we're going to put this in just like that. So where it's on the downside, where your shoot tether comes out at, we're going to put it in just like that. Alright, now that we got the shoot in the bag, go ahead and grab your drawstring and walk all the way up to the back of the car. Now that we're at the back of the car, we want to curl this inside the bag. That way when it throws out, right, it just propels out. It doesn't allow the strings to get tangled, etc. So when I say curl this, you're just going to curl it like a garden hose inside the bag. Can help pack the bags, especially on the spring assembly. Yep, that's right. Got Josh over here. You can help pack that one. Now that we got our top piece out, we have the concession stands. Look through that one. I was a pig yesterday. I ain't real. Yeah. Make sure it's tucked in really good. Make sure everything's nice and neat. The neater it is, the better. The less chances it's got of getting tangled up or anything of that nature. 
go ahead and pick your bag up. Your flap is going to go in. Good deal. All right, the same thing with the feather to the spring. We're going to curl it up. Two hands on the actual spring itself, push it in and you got a hole. So take your shoelace, stick it through. And then you're going to pull really, really tight. I go ahead and start with the bottom first, and then I do left and right. As you see, Josh is holding it with his thumb, so that makes it easier for me to pull the string in and make sure everything's tucked really good. All right, once we got that done, just go ahead and pull your shoestring out. That's it. I also like to tuck my sides in, make sure everything's squared up once we get the shoe packed in. All right, kind of center your bag, make sure everything is ready to go. And that's it. So that's how you pack a parachute. Now we're going to get out there on the track here in a second. We're going to throw this thing and show you exactly how it comes out.